Oh, Gaz was shot in the head in the mo in the original Modern Warfare? Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. That's actually very interesting. Pretty good story, though. I, I like this. This was this was nice. Is there anything, like, crazy? I mean, Makarov was actually kind of insane. They did him well. Oh, what are we doing here? Hold on. We got Shepard here. What the heck is Shepard doing? <laughs> John. Yo, this man price is fucking mad. How did you get Cause it's their fault. Shepard and Graves thought said that he was dead when they shot him in the AC 130. Well. He's like if, if they had actually killed them at that point, someone wouldn't have died. You're better than this, Captain. Mm. We both will. This job is about making sacrifices for the greater good. Agreed. You got a body count of your own, John. Huh. <laughs> It'll come back to haunt you. Oh, I am not gonna beg for my life. Not from you or anybody else, Captain. Wouldn't do you any good. G freaking G. Hey, at least somebody uh, bad died. <laughs> freaking hell. So, hey, so that means Graves is taking command now. And honestly, I kind of like that. Shepard didn't seem like as menacing as the original Shepard. I want to say Graves is going to fill the role of the original Shepard, where he was like super brutal in a sense. This is going to be interesting though. Fucking hell. But now Shepard is, or not Shepard, but Graves is going to be leader of the, like, complete leader of the Shadow Company. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, what you guys, what you guys think? Hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the campaign playthrough. You know, max settings and everything for you guys to enjoy, and hopefully it looked great, and... Yeah. Was that the shortest COD campaign? I think this might be the shortest COD campaign. I don't know. I, it really only took me, like, what, three and a half hours? Let me know what you guys thought about it. Do you guys like it compared to MW2 and MW19? It's, it's just kind of short, and it didn't feel like it had enough, like, gameplay variety. But I think there was a lot more action here within the short time frame that it had. I don't know. Hard to say. But still, solid campaign. I will take that. So here we are with the rewards. For the first mission, Operation 607, you get the Breather Calling Card. For the second mission, Precious Cargo, you get the XP tokens. Third mission, Reactor. You get the new operator of Corso for use in multiplayer, Warzone, and Zombies. Uh, here on Payload, you get the Gilly Guy calling card. Here in Deep Cover, you get XP tokens once again. Uh, for Passenger, you get nothing. I mean, it was a pretty quick mission. This one was probably one of the most impactful ones. Uh, for Crash Site, you get the operator of Pathfinder. Is that her? Oh yeah, that's her. You get to play her as her as uh, in the in the in multiple. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad they put her as an operator. Uh, calling card is gonna be toxic drip for flashpoint here. Oligarch, you get double XP tokens. In uh, high rise here, you get the operator of Doc. You get the calling card of Skull Rhapsody for Probes and Tundra. Gora Dam, you get some XP tokens. For Danger Close, you get Jabber as an operator. And then for completing the campaign and doing the final mission, you get the blueprint known as Brogue, which uh, looks pretty cool it's for one of the new guns in MW3, and the emblem of Soapy, which honestly makes a lot of sense. Rest in peace to our man, fucking Soap. But uh, yeah, and you can play the freaking cinematics if you want again, too. So, pretty cool. I like that. So I just wanted to end off the video here by talking about the campaign a little bit more now that I've like, you know, thought over the campaign and edited all the campaign footage. It's currently 4.30 a.m. while I'm freaking, uh, you know, it's 4.20, but it's like legit freaking 
uh you know it's late as fuck and i decided to make all these videos in one night night because i know some of you guys weren't able to come to the stream or you guys were playing the campaign yourself and some of you guys might be curious as to like how i felt about the campaign and my raw reactions to it and honestly it was pretty cool uh the only thing that sucks is that it was a little bit on the short side and one thing i do want to mention as well is that most of it felt like modern warfare 2 and I mean that in the sense that, like, you know, it was the new adventure, not necessarily a whole new adventure, but more of a continuation of, like, finding Makarov from the end of MW2. But more in the sense of, like, there was, like, no new Modern Warfare 3 guns. I was lo very lo so much looking forward to some new Modern Warfare 3 guns that we would rock with that we didn't see in the beta. And uh, from my knowledge, I think there was only, like, one or two more or less there was a i think there was a sniper in there that was like new if i'm not mistaken though it's hard to tell about the freaking snipers in the game already uh but the only new one was the the burst gun at the end of the on the final mission the you know once you transfer it over to price or whatever it was a pretty good burst gun i think it's gonna be better than the m16 because it has like very low recoil and it feels like the type 25 type 95 whatever that gun was called in modern warfare 3 and that thing was an absolute beast. So I'm excited to use that in multiplayer. But I was kind of disappointed by the lack of MW3 guns. Or new MW3 guns. Because any MW3 guns that they feature. Most of them were pretty much from the beta. Which I played endlessly. And then there were so many MW2 guns. So it's like whenever I play a COD campaign. I'm more so expecting you know the newer guns. I'm not expecting throwbacks or anything like that. Uh, just I think that was like the most disappointing part about this campaign. Uh, but, you know, besides it being short and it being superfluous with older content, I thought it was pretty solid. You know, some people might hate that Makarov didn't die or whatever. I, to me, I kind of see this as like a season or just to show like how powerful Makarov and how slippy, you know, slippery he is. Kind of like uh, Lalo Salamanca from Breaking Bad. He is uh, cunning. He is divisive. He is devious and he will do whatever possible to, you know, put a nail into task force one for one and achieve his goal of east versus west and i don't know i feel like the campaign i think people are only sour because the bad guy actually won this time around you know it just i, I think people aren't used to the taste of defeat i don't know i'm saying some pretty freaking divisive stuff right now but it's like sometimes the good guys don't always win i mean you see the the theming of modern warfare 3 it's in all red it's implying a negative connotation and evil impact. And Makarov was just that dude to take out Soap, sadly. It might have been a little bit anticlimactic. It was very, like, sudden. You know, there was no build-up to it. There was no, like, beautiful music to combo as well. You know, how Shepard did back in the original MW2 to kill Soap and Ghost. You know, or Roach, I think it was. Was it Roach and Ghost? You know, he killed them both, and there was a beautiful song that played. But this one was just sudden, you know, it was just quick. You were in the middle of defusing the bomb and, you know, saving the subways. It's just, uh, I don't know, it wasn't as much as impactful as it should have been, but, so I can see if you hate it that way, but it's just showing the, the, the I don't give a fuck attitude from Makarov. But that's what I liked about the campaign. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the, com the comments section below. And thank you immensely if you watched all the campaign footage, whether you came to the streams or you're watching it here again at uh, the YouTube videos. And uh, can't wait for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. And on here on this channel, I can't wait for Modern Warfare 3 Warzone. I'll be uploading Warzone until, you know, the Warzone integration. And then we'll really go crazy with the content. Thank you guys for your love and support. And keep being incredible. I love you all. <laughs>